Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner, and today we have the brand new Gamo Arrow in 22 caliber. The Arrow is brand new for 2022, and it is Gamo's first Spanish produced PCP. For those of you that remember the Urban and some of the other Gamo branded PCPs, those were all made in the UK. This is their first gun made in Spain. Now, a lot of interesting stuff going on here, but none more important than the price point. This is right around $220, and this comes in really as a competitor to the Diana Storm Rider and should do quite well stacked up against it. Let's get into the details. Before we jump into those details, uh, real quick, we are having some troubles here on YouTube. I've said it to you guys before, I'll keep saying it until they stop. Basically, for whatever reason, YouTube is limiting the reach of our channel, of our content. If you are a fan, we would appreciate it a ton if you share the heck out of these videos, uh, post them, let your friends know about them, post them on your social media channels. We appreciate whatever you guys are willing to do. It's awesome. Uh, keep liking, commenting. Let's keep the conversation going. And if you're not already, please do subscribe. Helps the channel tremendously and tells YouTube that we're not bad guys. I don't know why they think we are, but whatever. Anyway, let's get into the details. So starting at the front of the arrow, you will notice we have a, a nice shroud and suppressor system. This is their Whisper Fusion system. We've seen this on their brake barrels before. I'm expecting it to do quite well in terms of sound dampening on this PCP. Bear in mind, this isn't gonna be the most powerful gun out there, so it should be very, very quiet. Now, just below our shrouded barrel system, we do have a 125cc air cylinder. Uh, not going to deliver a ton of shots, although Gamo rates this at 60. Obviously, we're going to put this over the chronograph and see what it does. They do rate the 177 and the 22 caliber the same, both right around 60 shots. Again, we'll see if that holds up or not. I, I would expect a few less out of this size of air cylinder because this is not a regulated gun. Now, moving back up to the top of that barrel shroud, you will notice this has open sights. They are fiber optic. You have a fully adjustable rear fixed front, which is hooded, so it's gonna be protected if you're an open sight shooter walking through the woods. You're not gonna have to worry about damaging it or anything like that. Moving on back as far as scoping the gun goes, 11 millimeter dovetail only. One thing I will tell you, if you haven't noticed it already from looking at it, this gun is basically a single molded piece of plastic outside of the air cylinder. Uh, I suspect it's like a clamshell style system where you have two halves that are screwed together um, but you are mounting this to a plastic dovetail now I haven't had any issues with that thus far uh, but just something to be aware of you don't want to over tighten these mounts and potentially mar that dovetail uh, but very cool actually one of the reasons why Gamma was able to get this in at such an affordable price point was because they were able to figure out how to basically mold this all into one piece of plastic uh, and reduce the number of parts which obviously is going to reduce the cost which is great to see. It's a new and innovative concept. We just have to see if it works or not. Now, while we're on the breech, the gun does have a magazine that is uh, included here. It is the same as your Swarm magazine, like from the brake barrels, uh, which is kind of wild that they're using the same magazine, but works just fine. Again, 22 caliber, 10 rounds there, 10 rounds in 177 as well. And once you have this straight pull system pulled back, you just go ahead, press it in, you hear it click, and you are good to go. Now you can decock the gun. This is your safety here. You just flip that forward. You go ahead, pull the trigger with the bolt held back and release. Very simple to do. Uh, we'll talk about the straight pull system here in just a second, but speaking of the trigger, this is their CAT trigger, the custom action trigger, and it is adjustable. This is probably the first time in a review I've ever had to adjust a trigger because out of the box, I couldn't figure the thing out, uh, but once I got it adjusted, it was really nice, a little bit of take up and then it goes. And of course you have your safety just in front of the trigger blade there, really easy to turn on and off. And before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we'll flip the gun over. You do have a male quick disconnect fill fitting built into this and you have a lot of room here to get your QD fittings on. You don't necessarily need an extended fitting or anything like that. So very easy to fill. This gun fills to 232 bar, right around 3300 PSI. And you have a gauge on the front that is going to tell you where you're at in the fill cycle. Uh, make sure you don't overfill the gun there. Now coming back to this straight pull system, this is unique. I've only ever seen this on one or two other guns before uh, and an interesting system, but it keeps the gun fully ambidextrous, which is really what Gamma was going for when they built this. The stock's fully ambidextrous, the action had to be the same. So to operate this, you are going to just press down here on the back and that kind of unlocks it. 
and then just pull straight back. It's very easy to do, doesn't take a lot of effort, super easy, just push back in. So you can actually operate this gun really quickly. Uh, once it's in the shoulder, it's here and forward. It's super fast, really easy to get that follow-up shot. For those of you that are small game hunting or pest controlling, this is gonna be a great one for the backyard. The stock here is a nice all-weather composite. This is probably one of the nicest synthetic stocks I've ever seen on a gun in this price range. If you're familiar with the Urban, it's the same material. The stock feels good. They have some nice check texturing here on each side of the cheek piece. It's a raised cheek piece. Uh, comes into the shoulder really nicely, and they even have some kind of finger grooves there for your thumb. If you're not big, a big fan of crossing over on the grip, you can kind of have that thumb up position, uh, but it's really nice, handles great, and the gun comes in at just five pounds. It's also under 40 inches, so this is lightweight, compact, uh, and should be a very nice shooter overall. Again, for just a little over $200, uh, this is a great entry-level option, assuming it performs on the range. So now that we've gone through everything, let's head out to the range and see what it does. Stretching the arrow out to 45 yards. We went with five shot groups here. I'm not sure what this gun's doing over the chronograph, so just in case we're getting some wild velocity fluctuations, wanted to make sure that we're keeping things in a nice tight uh, pressure range and velocity range to make sure we're nice and consistent down range. Now, with that said, uh, the gun does like to be held tight. I noticed that if I just kind of let it sit on the bags, it was a lot of muzzle flip, so nice and tight into the shoulder, kept things really solid down range. Didn't like a whole lot of pellets in our pre-testing, uh, but the H&N Field Target Trophies, these are the 5.52s, here uh, seven eighths of an inch for five shots so just under an inch there but by far the best and most consistent in our testing the crossman premier 14.3 gram domes five eighths inch five shot group there at 45 yards out of a 200 dollars pcp this is solid uh, gonna get anything that you want to get done done out to that distance so solid accuracy out of the arrow not the easiest gun to shoot off the bench like i said uh, but once you figure out the trigger and get your hold right it is a shooter so from a full 3300 psi fill here on the gamo arrow with those crossman premieres that shot the best for us you were looking at an average energy of 16 foot pounds now it's just 710 feet a second so not the fastest thing not the most powerful thing in the world going to be really good for shorter range stuff sub 50 yard interactions uh, and certainly is the accuracy to do that as well but when we're talking about the chronograph results here, you are looking at 48 shots in a just 26 foot per second spread for an unregulated gun. Again, just 125 cc's of air. That is very impressive stuff. Uh, like I said, not the most powerful thing, but very consistent and delivers a lot of shots on a small capacity, which makes this gun a great option for plinking in the backyard, messing around. You could fill it once and have a good time shooting for quite a while. And for those of you hand pumpers as well, this is going to make it really hand pump friendly. All right, let's wrap up the Gamo Arrow here in the 22 caliber. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with Gamo's first PCP offering out of a Spanish factory. Uh, the gun feels good, handles well, lightweight five pounds. Uh, even with the scope added here, three to nine leapers, it's still really lightweight. This is going to be great for folks of all shapes and sizes. The straight pull system is very unique. Uh, I, I wasn't thrilled with it at first, but it is a quick operation and easy to use. Not a hard cocking effort or anything like that. The magazine system works well. Well, you do have open sights, and most importantly, in my opinion, the gun's very quiet. Uh, gives a good shot count, but not the most powerful. That's the biggest consideration here that you have to make, I think. If you're looking for something with a little bit more pop, you want to reach out a little bit further in a budget PCP, this may not be the best option. But if you're in the backyard, you have a relatively short distance, and you're going after small critters, this could be a very, very good choice for you. And especially if you're hand pumping, this is absolutely one you should consider. If you haven't gotten on the PCP bandwagon yet, this would be a great gun to do it with. 
Thanks for joining us for the Gamo Aero 22 caliber review. We appreciate it a ton for you guys watching out there. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. It helps us out tremendously. Don't forget to like and comment down below as well. Let's continue the conversation down there and share the video too if you thought there's a new PCP owner potentially in your life that needs to know about the new Aero. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. As always, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you next time.